Hello, today I'm here with a new video and if you don't know who I am, my name is Lisa. I'm a cruelty YouTuber that is trying to find <laughs> my place here on YouTube again. And today I'm going to try to have a get ready with me. I'm like not sure at all what this video is going to be about. I have like a rough idea what I want to talk about, but you never know with me. Like, is this going to go good? Is this going to go shit? I have no idea. I have always thought like, should I maybe write down some things that I know that I want to talk about? I never do it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to do a look with some singles in my collection. I have picked out these. It's from Lethal, Nabla and Shroud. I just really felt like doing a smoky eye kind of thing today, so I guess I'm going to try to do that. So I will pry my eyes and then we hop into this and I think I do apologize in advance. So I can write down in the description which shades I'm using but that is not like the important thing because yeah I'm using a black from Lethal and these two more neutral shades if I'm even going to use them from Novland. I guess you have something like that in your collection yeah for some reason I really want to do smoky eye I do them from time to time but uh, yeah I do like them maybe it's not the most fun thing to watch but the thing that I want to talk about I have been thinking about this and I have done like a similar video where I've talked about if I only do makeup for YouTube and I did post on my Instagram I think it was my first post for this year that I want to post something more than only makeup looks on my Instagram I do want to be more okay, I don't know how to phrase this but I think I look more put together on YouTube than I am in real life. Maybe it's a, it is like that for everyone. Like today I wasn't planning on or I, I planned to film. Then I, I usually have my hair up in a ponytail on work. Because it's just in the way. Uh, and I was like yeah I'm going to film today. I took down my hair and it looked like shit now it's like filled with dry shampoo so i don't even want to touch it because it feels so disgusting uh, and then i was like no i don't want to film today because i do look a little bit i don't know it doesn't look that good and i don't know why but for some reason i always want to look so put together on instagram and on youtube which I am not and I'm really trying to do more like not being that fixed with like my hair and everything but I I don't know I, I think it's, it's important to like show that the backside or not only the perfect things on social media maybe I guess I'm at a little bit older generation. I didn't grow up with social media. I'm born in 89. So I didn't grow up with that. It came like when I was maybe a young adult and not a teenager. So I think that I'm not as... Um, it doesn't have that big of an impact for me. Of course I do like everything looks so good and perfect on social social media but it hasn't affected me I guess in the way that I guess it have for younger people but at the same time I feel like I need to look better on YouTube and Instagram than I do in real life which I am a little bit not iffy, I don't know like how to describe it, but I am like 
a part of me just want to show like the real deal like my disgusting hair my not that fancy <laughs> outfits I, I do not dress fancy but I hope that you get what I mean and maybe not only post the good makeup looks on Instagram all the time but at the same time I think it is like a way to express yourself and maybe a way to escape your real life um, so I'm a little bit torn about how to do it this I never feel like I, I don't know how to f think about this but for me I do never wear makeup in my day-to-day -day life because I for one thing I don't want the attention and I know I'm going to get it um, because at my work what can it be like 15% women and 85% men and I do not want to have the comments and also like I don't want to sit and do this in the morning and I don't feel like work is the place that I need to express how I want to look and um, how I dress and everything that I can do off work but I just think it's hard sometimes to know like who am I really? Am I the work me that has on the boring clothes? I don't know and no makeup or is like this the real me? Maybe I have a little bit of a crisis like when I turned 30, I didn't think it was like, I didn't have a crisis for that. Like in Sweden you say 30 years krisen, like the 30 year old Christ. I didn't have that. I don't know if it's, it is not middle age crisis. But like now I'm turning 34 this year. And I am like, I'm, I'm getting closer and closer to 40, which is, yeah. <laughs> you get, do get older and older and I do feel a little bit not bad about it but it actually do stress me a little bit and I don't know why because I'm not even 35 but a little part of me is like okay it's time to grow up for real and be a real adult maybe not have stretched ears, septum ring, this haircut, a part of me is like that, like maybe it's time, okay this is turning out something completely else, but sometimes I feel like is it time for me to grow up? And another part of me is like inspired by all the cool people that is older than me that I follow on Instagram and on YouTube and like, no. You are like never too late to start to find yourself and how you want to express and how you want to dress. A part of me is like completely sure on that, but another part of me is like maybe it's time to start to look more like a real adult. I hope that you get what I mean. But I think that it's like changing and I think what when I was a kid, I was like completely sure, like when you turn 25, you're a grown up. You're like a real grown up, you have your life together. And when you turn 30, your life is like completely set. I couldn't be more wrong. My life is not completely set. I do not want to know. I, I do not know what I want to do when I'm grown up. Um, even though I am a grown up. But I guess that it's just. I remember when I was like 17 or something. And I thought that I was pretty old and pretty like. I am an adult. I know what to do. Um, I didn't know shit when I was 17. I know that now. 
But yes, a part of me thought like when I was going to be this age that my life was going to be more put together than it is and I was going to know more about myself than I do. And I am a little bit more sure about myself and I am a little bit more comfortable with who I am and who I look. Of course, I do have bad days. I, I, I maybe would say that I have more bad days than good days. Um, but yeah, when I am out and about, I do dress, trying to dress in what I want. But I think I get also, how did I do this? I think I also have a little bit of crisis with that. Because I really want to find my style. I don't think I have found it yet. And I'm just feeling, I don't know if I say that I feel stressed about the whole thing with getting older and everything, but I just, yeah, I don't know how to feel and I don't know if you will feel the same. And this is not at all what I planned for this get ready with me to be. This is like the only thing that I've noticed. Like. I am getting older, I I don't know if I look a bit older, I guess, I think people do think that I'm younger than I am, but like with my eyes, I'm dreading that I'm going to have my mother's eyes, she has not like hooded eyes, she has folded eyes, like extremely folded, and I'm so afraid that that is going to be me in a couple of years. My features are more, I'm more like my dad. I do look like my dad and not like my mom. But I guess like if there is going to be one thing that I'm going to have from my mom, it's going to be the eyelids. And I'm dreading that. And like I feel like here you can see that it is a little bit... Um, wrinkly? I am afraid about that. I'm not like super afraid of getting older, maybe it's because I do look... I will at least like... I think that I look younger than I am. Maybe I'm wrong, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. Okay, it's now I don't know. I was planning on taking this one with a glitter primer over. But I don't know if I want that. It feels like I need a mirror a little bit closer. And one thing that I'm going to do next week, I'm going to go to check my eyesight. Um, it's because of work. We are like... Um, because of work in front of the computers, we are allowed to go on a... To check your eyesight. Synundersökning, it's called in Swedish. So I'm going to do that and I'm pretty sure that something is wrong with my eyesight. And I wouldn't be surprised if I do need glasses because like my whole family has something wrong with their eyes. And I'm pretty sure that it's going to be the same for me. And that is also like a sign that you're getting older. Okay. I think I'm going to do my base off cam because this just spiraled out of what it was planned for be in the beginning and yeah I don't know what more to say I think it feels like I do want to do get ready with me when I talk about a little bit more serious things but it feels like I need to really think about what I want to talk about and maybe like write down some things that I do want to have in this video because I'm always like spiraling <laughs> out of what I did intend to do and then I'm like well lost what I'm talking about I'm so sorry for that so maybe it's just good if I end this now uh, I guess you maybe want to see the finished look now I just look super tired because I'm so dark under my eyes but I do really like this. I do like how it looks. But okay, I will fix my base and then I'll come back and going to 
and this strange get rid of me. It feels like all my get rid of with me's are strange right now. The look is done and I've started a new comp that I do really like. I have been having this skin realist from Nabla, but it is like a tad too dark. So I found this in my drawers, uh, lightning drops from the body shop. I love to mix these. It gives like the coverage I want and this doesn't mess with um, the formula on this one. So I'm really happy about that. And yeah, I, I have a cat hair somewhere, I think. And also like I had, I had it here. I don't know how that happened. But yeah, I guess that that was all of this video. I'm super happy with this look. I do really, really like it. I did pop this single in my inner corners. It's from Lethal. Maybe I can check what it's called. Arsenic. It has like a pink sheen to it. I do really like it. And yeah, I do hope that I came somewhere with this get rid with me so yeah I'm really happy with the look at least I think it looks really really good I do love this shimmer from shroud I shroud are going to release a new palette the only thing is they did like a black and white little sneak peek and I think one of the shades was called Artifact and they have a single that is that name so I don't know what they are up to but I'm looking forward to it and uh, okay I do hope that you like this video and I'm going to try to figure out like right now I don't know what to do I thought that I was going to look so much more forward to buying new makeup when my no buy was over I've bought some new mascaras and a new eyebrow product. That is so far everything I've bought. And a face primer. I have... And a concealer. I haven't bought anything else. And it feels a little bit strange. And I feel a little bit confused, actually. But yeah, I do really hope that you like this video. And if you're not subscribing to my channel, please do. So you don't miss any of my videos. And I hope that I'll see you in the next one. Bye.